importing a WAV file to the VR600 part 2. So in the last video, because he gonna, found you going to upload 10 minutes of uh, video to, to YouTube. Um, so the last video we were getting ready to actually import the, the, the file. So you have to double click on the USB folder and remember when I right clicked and copied the WAV file, you just uh, right click again and paste. So what this is, the, the, the USB folder, the, the operating system for the BR600 will read this, you know, the USB, any, any file that goes into the USB folder. And you can see it's uh, connecting. Maybe in a, a later video, uh, you'd use the, um, the BR wave converter, which is a lot faster. I find that faster for exporting than I do for importing. So um, we'll, we'll go over that in here in a little bit. So, like I say, it takes about 90 seconds. Usually, I'm doing this. I'll, you know, get my guitar ready and get everything tuned up. Um, make sure I've got everything set and ready to go. And I can see it's still, still going. Almost there. Usually, most of the time, too, I'll go grab me a beer and get that ready. <laughs> Life is better with beer. Oh, you can probably see here on the BR600, it says USB import, keep power, power on. So now, the file is in. You can see that file inside. Um, you know, the window here for the USB folder and you want to come back over to the BR600 and you want to press the exit button this will disconnect USB you see that right here in the window are you sure and here again you have to press the enter button now the BR600 is importing the file so again it takes about 90 seconds on the computer and Another 90 seconds, you know, here on, on the BR600. Like I said, if you use the um, BR Wave Converter, the, the, that's also free from, from Boss. You can download it, put it on your computer. That is faster. But for importing, I, for me, I, just to make sure I've got it going to the right track I, that I have, um, I use the uh, BR Wave Converter on my, on my PC rather than the laptop here, which is not really fast enough to, uh, uh, to run it. Uh, here, you know, I have another sip of beer and, and uh, <laughs> you know, have a guitar ready. And it's almost done importing. Okay, getting close. Almost, almost. <clears throat> Another sip of beer. I should have poured me one while I was doing this. And okay, done. When you get to this screen here, you uh, simply just press the utility button. And it says keep power on and now see the green light on the on the on channel five six here raise that up raise up the master volume press play and we have the track is imported that's really all it is for the imported track in we'll stop that so you know if you have a guitar you're ready to play or anything you would just simply plug in your know, new and your, your guitar here. Track one's already done, you know, press zero, press record and play, and you record the track. That's really all there is. So to export, once you get your track done recording here, let's uh, go to, let's get out of this track here, go to um, utility, you have to scroll back over to 
uh, song select. So there's a bunch of songs I got on here. Let's see. Um, da, 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 da. Um, you see that um, Messing with the Blues um, tune I did for a backing track. So song selecting, you have to press enter and keep power on the song is loading. So, so you got your tracks recorded and you've got them bounced down to, uh, you know, 7, 8, which I said before is the, you know, like the mastering, master bounce track. And you want to export this out so people can hear it. Again, press the utility button. Use the left, use the uh, right cursor here, left and right cursor to go over to U USB, press enter. Here we, backup is used if you would, you know, um, you want to back up all the tracks on the song. For here we just want to, you know, just, um, ex we want to export um, the two stereo tracks, say, that you've done. So you have uh, export. You would press the enter button. And if you have a PC, you would want to export your tracks in WAV format. Um, if you have a Mac, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> use the uh, AIFF um, format so on PC and you see the courser here is legit so you have wave you press the enter button and here it would ask you where you want to export from so we know we had the track uh, if you bounce and everything and do the mastering it's going to be on track 78 V2 so once you've done the track and you bounce it um, and if you do master, if you just bounce it, it's going to be on V1. So just say you just bounced it and you didn't want to master it, you just want to hear it. Now you to use the mastering presets just to get the levels right. And then you would press enter. And it would just say, you know, now it would say exporting. So you guys, so usually for here, I take it downstairs. Um, I, take the, I just take the card out because with the uh, the BR wave converter, if you have a card reader, you simply take the memory card out, stick it in the card converter, and the card reader, open up the BR wave converter, and it will show you all the tracks you have recorded. Um, I guess I'll, I'll go through that a little bit later, but there you just do it. Uh, simply, you know, uh, use the software to export the tracks. But for just for you know. For this example here, so you don't have a card reader and you don't, you know, uh, want to still want to use the, the USB, this is what you would do. Almost done. All right. So now it says USB export now connecting. Heard there. My laptop just being to tell me that it did connect. Uh, Press the start button. My computer. Uh, the BR600 does show up as an, you know, like an external drive, like a flash drive. Double click. You have the rolling, the main rolling folder. You double click here, and you see the other four folders again. Double click on the USB folder, and that's the track. So it will show up. You can see this here as TRO track, TR track seven, eight, and one. Okay, that I already, I already had it automatically set up for it to do this, and then you would just take the WAV file. You see here, I'm dragging it to the desktop, and you release, and it will export it to the desktop. And then you have a WAV file. So I'm gonna stop right now and show you how to convert that back to MP3 uh, software.